Now I will demonstrate how to create the UML diagram using Plant UML. In Plant UML, we start off by putting Start UML and End UML. This depicts that this area is a single diagram. You can also add a title for the diagram here, so I'll call it Arrow. And then since we're creating a class diagram, we need to first create the classes. So we have Arrow with properties of tip coordinates, tail coordinates, and arrow head size. And if we remember, arrow head size is an integer. Tip coordinates is a Euclidean coordinate, so it's a pair of doubles. And we decided to use double array 2. But of course, you can use two doubles. And we can also use the point data type. And we also had the method called draw arrow. To see what we've already done, we can simply press Alt and D for Windows. And as you can see, we have a class arrow over there. So now we need to create the subclasses. As we know, we'll inherit from arrow. So in our lecture slides, we have two different tailed arrows. So we will be calling them tailed arrow 1 and tailed arrow 2. So again, class tailed arrow 1. As we mentioned, it'll inherit all of this. These are all public. And we will only need the tail size now. And this is an integer. And we also need the method called append tail. And the same for tailed arrow too. So the reason I changed from using a single special arrow class which has which takes an enum and just appends the tail depending on the enum is because the different tails have a different method to actually append the tail. So it's more cleaner if you break it up into two subclasses instead. And finally we need to connect the diagrams. So in plant UML, arrows are just this. This is for a long arrow and this is a short arrow. But for extends, we also need to add the pipe so that it will be a, an arrow with the white tip. So now we will be connecting tailed arrow to arrow. So it extends arrow. As you can see, the arrow is drawn there. And the same for tilt arrow too. And there we go. If you want to use a shorter arrow, you can just remove one of the dashes. But it's a bit messy, so I'll just use the long arrow instead. And that's it. In order to export the picture that you just made, the UML diagram, you can go to the console or press Control shift p on Windows to open this console. And then you can use UML, export current diagram. This will prompt you to choose the data format. Let's choose PNG. And it will generate the arrow diagram in here. The name of the file will be the same as the name of the diagram that you specified over here. You can also create a link for this file by using generate UML for current diagram. Again, you're asked to choose your format. Uh, let's use SVG. And now you can just put this into your URL. 
and it'll generate the SVG file for you.